So do you guys remember about like uh, three, four years ago when the S18 and the V11 first came out before the whole EUC thing became like an extreme high speed performance industry? EUCs were focused on commuter wheels, something that was kind of the complete package for a commuter. Something that you could push around, push it into your bus, uh, into your public transport, into your car, and get it to be your last mile transportation. That's what EUC was really about back in the day. And the V11Y is a refocus of that. The V11, released back in 2020 as InMotion's first suspension wheel, has now become one of the best-selling wheels for the company. Four years on, they have now refreshed this model. The InMotion V11Y features 7,800 lux headlight, the same one found on the V11 without the noisy fan, the Raptor Y controller now peaking at 2,800 more watts for a happy 60 km an hour in top speed with a better waterproof rating of IPX6. It also now comes stock with spike pedals over the grip pedals found on the V11, all sitting on an 18 inch tire at an 84 volt 1,500 watt hours. Now, for people who are worried about its range, this wheel has 1500 watt hours, but you now can charge at double the speed. So from the V11's 5 amp charging, you can now charge at double, so reducing your charge time by half. One of the most impressive things is that they've lowered the pedals by 10 millimeters without reducing the 70 millimeter suspension travel. This makes a world's difference to everyday commuter riders. at 86% battery, we're gonna go ahead and test the Siri and see if we can reach 60. So let's go. We're slowly gonna cruise up to the speed. So it may be hard to tell in the footage, but despite tiltback being disabled in the app, it would still kick in hard at 55 kilometers an hour making it nearly impossible to hit the advertised 60 kilometers an hour unless you chose to be reckless. Another critical issue is that when the wheel sounds its alarm, you actually cannot hear it. I wasn't able to hear it and I have a pro frame on, but really could not hear it. Only heard it through the iPhone and through my Insta360 camera. So if you're gonna go that speed, please be careful. With stock street tires, we both attempted hill climbs to feel the claimed power increase. Both of us did feel a slight increase, but as an everyday rider, we don't think it would yeah. make much of a difference, but rather enjoy the completely sealed off controller against the elements. Oh, look at that technique. Another key difference of the V11 and the V11Y is that on the V11, you don't have a smart BMS. So it's just the battery voltage. Whereas on the V11Y, you're able to see all the charge, discharge, voltage information on your V11Y. Great safety feature improvement. So let's talk about this wheel's suspension. Just because it has suspension doesn't mean that it's an off-road wheel. First off, you have this PSI chart right here based on the rider's weight. You can pump it to the PSI suggested here. I do actually suggest going a little bit lower. If you go on a bit higher, then you might get that pogo stick effect that might rebound really quick on you. And if you're going down steps, it can uh, you might lose control of the wheel. So be really careful about that. A secondary thing is if you do have it on the lower end, Obviously when you go down some uh, sidewalk or go down a lot of steps, be careful, take it easy because you may bottom out and you don't want to bottom out your suspension too many times because that can damage your suspension. Another thing is this wheel is really just a commuter wheel, right? So if you're thinking about off-roading, this may not be the wheel for you, but everyday use, the suspension is going to be really good. 
doing this kind of stuff behind me, maybe not such a good idea. And if you're going to be doing that like extreme stuff where you're wanting to hit 45 kilometers an hour and above, then I do suggest finding a way to put on pads. Now, there are no jump pads available, but there are these 3D printed ones that you can find on Thingiverse or on Etsy where they're kind of your jump clips. But because of the surface of this top pad, the adhesive doesn't stick to it well. So if I rip off this pad provided to me by one ride, well, the adhesive is actually gonna tear off. So thanks to Ride One for providing this uh, power pad. And it definitely matches with this wheel for its commuting purpose. And it's really comfortable. But unfortunately, it doesn't stick well enough to the V11. And that's more of a in motion thing than the pad. What makes a really good commuter wheel is what's up here, right? So if you're coming to a full stop and you're having to trolley your wheel or you're trying to push upstairs, you want to be able to get off your wheel and in a swift motion engage with the wheel. So you have the lift sensor right underneath here, which is your also your grab handle, your lift sensor. And if you just move your finger forward a little bit more, you'll find the switch for the trolley handle. So you can actually trolley it forward and back. So in one smooth motion, you're able to engage with everything you need to with the V11Y in a commuter basis. And if you're thinking about using this wheel as a commuter basis, or as a commuter wheel, then you might consider also this. So Bob over at PidZoom, who makes EUC or electric rideable accessories, has sent over this wireless horn. Now this wireless horn comes with different ringtones, security feature, different mountable options, rechargeable battery, and it comes in a very, very small form factor. The best thing about it is it also comes with this wireless horn, so you can kind of mount it off to the side and use your thumb. Now, obviously, there's still a bit like a half second delay that I think he needs to sort out. If you're interested, uh, I'll leave the link to his website down below, but if you're a commuter, this is gonna be a good accessory for helping keep you safe and probably others too. Here are the last three things I wanna talk about with the V11Y, and the first thing is the kickstand. The kickstand actually grinds against the tire when I turn to the right. This was an issue on the V11, and I don't know why they haven't fixed this issue on the V11Y. The screw head is just a bit too big. Now, the second thing is the repairability. If you're looking for a wheel that's going to be easier to repair, well, in terms of difficulty, this is going to be about the same. The amount of screws are the same, but I think they've reduced the amount of Phillips heads, and now it's mostly um, like hex hex keys, hex screws, as well as the Raptor controller, well, it's on closed, so if you have an issue with your driver bore or your controller, it's a complete replacement, so you're not gonna have to remove one or the other. So in terms of that, it's a bit easier, but it's not going to be like tremendously, tremendously easy. Now, I still find this wheel tremendously, tremendously fun to ride. I don't think you need to go super, super fast to have a lot of fun. If you're trying to, you know, go to work and trying to whip around to the shop, I think this is a great wheel for you. I think this is honestly one of the best suspension wheels you can get on the market right now for a commuter wheel. There are other commuter wheels, but they are heavier or they're more power than you need. This is still a really, really fun wheel. If you're not thinking about going that fast, if you want a commuter wheel, if you want a great all-in-one package commuter wheel, you're not going to look, you're not gonna find anything better than the V11. That's my honest opinion. There are smaller wheels if you want it to be lighter, but they don't have suspension. So InMotion have sent out this wheel and thanks to them for sending out this wheel. But again, they, I am uninfluenced by um, what they've told me to say or anything. I'm presenting some of the facts and my own experience on this wheel. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and push the like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. We will be reviewing a electric dirt bike. See you guys soon.